Can we just start off this video by saying that this phone has gotten way more hype and eyes on than the new iPhone 10. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another episode. This one is very interesting. We are looking at something that I've never checked out before on the channel. It is a smartphone that has two screens. This is the ZTE Axon M. And of course, as it's such an interesting device, I'm actually working with ZTE to give one of these very devices away to one of you lucky peeps. Stay tuned till the end and I'll give you more details. Just be sure to leave a comment down below on maybe your favorite feature of why this guy is so cool, unique, and of course, a sub to the channel. So up front, we've got a pretty normal design. It's a 5.2 inch display, and that's, I guess, where the normal ends. Around the left-hand side, I guess your right, is where the actual hinge mechanism is. And on the back is another piece of glass that actually, when you open, you now have two screens, two 5.2 inch panels, which gives you almost like a tablet, a bit of a game console feel. What else can I say? It's a phone with two screens. So it has Gorilla Glass 5 on both ends. You'll probably need that as it will always be going down on one side or the other. It does have one camera, a 20 megapixel shooter, and that serves both as your normal selfie cam, and as the rear facing cam, as you essentially have two modes. On the insides, we've got metal, and surprisingly, the folding mechanism is extremely satisfying. ZTE claims you can open and close this guy 20,000 times without wearing out the folding mechanism. That's a pretty good number. Let's talk about the display. We've got two of them as that's the main feature. We essentially have four different functions that you can kind of set this phone up in. And you actually have a dedicated soft key on the menu system, which you can kind of switch between all of them. The most obvious is the dual screen mode when you can rock two different applications on one side. So that's perfect if you are kind of say watching a video watching me on YouTube and browsing the net, reading some notes, essentially having two different applications open and that works both in portrait and landscape mode. You can kind of play around with each of the apps to see which mode is best suited for each situation. The second one is a full screen mode and that's when you turn this two display beast into essentially one larger one. You'll have a bezel down the middle, but there are some apps that can optimize this view. For example, the calendar. You can look at your entire month, plus you can plan events on the right hand side. Or say you're watching videos, say once again you're on YouTube, you can now have this entire thing as a viewing experience. It's like you're watching content on a larger display and just gives it a bit more versatility and maybe this becomes your main media device. That is pretty dope. Case number three is mirror mode. So you can now have the same screen running on both ends. So say for example, you're watching a movie with a friend, you can actually start playing the movie and you can now use this as a little prop, place that on the table. You can be watching this display. I'll be watching this one and we can now watch a movie together. That's pretty cool too. And the last one being TV mode, which you can toggle to straight from the lock screen or from swiping down on your main notification tray. It's got certain gestures built into the display. Say you wanna transfer what's in one screen to the other, simply take three fingers, swipe on over, and you can move what's in one screen to the other. Other than the two screens, when you fold it back into its regular use, you can of course use this as a regular smartphone. One thing that I'll note is it is a tad bit chunky and you do have this hinge mechanism on the right hand side, which, you know, it does feel different than a normal smartphone, but that's just one of the compromises that you have to make for having two screens. So the camera, like I said, now that we have two displays, you only need one lens. So I am taking a full 20 megapixel selfie and when you actually switch the camera, it will give you a little prompt, turn the screen around. If we didn't, you can now see what's going on. And now this is my rear facing cam and I can go ahead and shoot away, boom. And I'm still taking 20 megapixel photos with that same camera that I was just taking selfies with a couple seconds ago. Most things that you throw at it, the Axon M will be able to handle. Just one thing to note though, there is a tiny, tiny bit of lag. I wouldn't even say it's lag. When you open the display, it takes maybe a second or two to populate the other display. I'm sure that can be corrected in something as simple as a software update. 
So pricing wise right now, the Axon M is currently exclusive to AT&T. You can grab one for around 24 bucks a month, which to me is way cheaper than other options out there. Plus you can say you have a phone that flips out. I guarantee you this is one of the most interesting devices and will definitely turn the most heads out there. Other little tidbits, it's got a fingerprint sensor on the left hand side so you can actually map that to your index finger or if you're using it with your left hand, the good old thumb placement will work. Up top, we've got the classic three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Good to see that that's not going away and a USB-C port on the bottom for charging. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Axon M, one of the most interesting devices that I've taken a look at this year. And just remember, I am giving one of these very units away. Just be sure to sub to the channel. Info is of course linked in the description box and be sure to comment how dope having a dual displayed smartphone could be. I'll catch you guys in one of my next episodes or in one of my vlogs. Peace.